One day and counting to the Oscars tomorrow night. I'm here at the Kodak Theater. I think it's an even bigger setup than last year. Fortunately, we're getting a bit of a break from the rain right now. Let's hope it holds. I think Anne Hathaway and James Franco were a great choice for hosting. I interviewed Anne at one of the balls for Obama's inauguration. We're re-releasing my interview with her here in HD with additional footage behind the scenes. She was the one everybody wanted to interview, and the whole room went crazy when she came in. I almost didn't get the interview. The first time she walked right by, there were so many reporters. I tried to get up close to the rope, but I couldn't get her attention. Hi, Ann. Ann. Well, I couldn't even reach, so. But fortunately, she came back. It was so cold. She was standing there in an evening gown, and she looked over and said, could somebody please close the door? But the door already was closed. Can we close the door, please? <laughs> I stood there waiting for the right moment. So I waited patiently until she was done with Access Hollywood. And then I made my move and got the interview. And could we just ask you a quick question? What did you think of Obama's speech? Oh, I thought it was spectacular. I loved it. I, I went home and looked it up on the internet, and I'm trying to memorize lines uh, oh, from it. A great, he's such a great speaker. Well, yes, and it was so interesting because after, uh, after the speech, I was watching it, and some press member said, you know, well, there's no soundbite to it. You know, Kennedy had a soundbite, and, and there's no soundbite to this one. And I just thought the whole, sp it's, this is not a speech about soundbites. This is actually a speech that we should all memorize. So one of, the, one of the, the parts that I liked the best was when he talked about embracing hope and rejecting fear. Um, the idea that we reject is false. The idea that in order to uh, pursue our security, we need to sacrifice our ideals. And when he said the thing about how we will extend our hand if you will unclench your fist, uh, I thought that was a great line. It's such a difficult time for the country right now. Do you think he can pull it off? He's got a big job ahead of him. I think if anyone can, he can. 
we'll have a and, and as we all should be saying to him, yes, we can. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you. Perfect.